Okay, Garrett Foster, the uh, guy with the AK-47 that got shot by a motorist. Got to ask, why is this happening? I know why it's happening. Uh, it's because when people would pull up to these intersections that are blocked and they would be swarmed by people and start attacking their car, they would drive off, sometimes run over protesters. <clears throat> now the left media, the you know, not like ABC or NBC and, and possibly them too, but, you know, like I'm connected to like smaller media outlets, the left is also connected to their own. And these media outlets are running stories saying these people that are pulling up to these intersections are right, uh, white supremacists and they're there to intentionally run them over. So the protests are saying, oh my God, they're targeting our rights to protest, even though, even though we're, we're operating on different terminology protest to us is peaceful to them it's they can riot it's still a protest to them that's another situation so what's happening now is people like this guy are bringing guns to the protest you saw in Utah the the, the guy that tried to tried to get a, get out of the uh, the intersection with the people in it they, they start attacking their car now they think that they have a right to shoot motorists and and they really believe that they're that they're you know that they're okay doing this so what's the solution? How, how do we check this? Um, now, in a lot of towns where, where people come out to protest, you'd see armed men hit the streets, and that would check the riots. So that, 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 that works. And so I have an idea of what to do with the, these people that are bringing guns. <clears throat> um, there was an article written, and it was entitled, Gun Owners Are Not Coming to Save You. And maybe they should. Maybe gun owners should accompany the rioters and the protesters and keep the peace between between uh, them and people that get caught in their in their intersections and the, and we, you know the gun owners the, the the armed men could tell them we're here to protect you from anybody that that tries to do violence but we're also here to make sure that you oper uh, operate your first amendment rights correctly and, and just tell them there is no stopping cars in an intersection and attacking them uh, if somebody gets out and you start beating that person we're going to have an issue with that but we're also here to protect you from anybody who gets out of the car and does that to you. See, they need to educate these people. And perhaps, perhaps these uh, gunmen or right-wingers should wear a blue cap or get a helmet and paint it blue. To kind of, uh, that, that would also head off the UN because the UN wants to come in and deal with this. Now, what if a bunch of gun owners got out and started keeping the peace, you know, actually keeping the peace, staying neutral unless they see a situation? And what if they wore blue helmets? Wouldn't that be a great idea? We don't need the UN because we're taking care of it. <clears throat> so that's my idea on how to check this because more and more protesters are going to start bringing more and more guns and we're going to have more and more situations like this. And what the, the people that are paying these protesters to do this, they want this to happen because they know that it happens a few times, it'll happen more times, and pretty soon it could be the spark that they're looking for to, to ignite the Civil War. The other idea I had was perhaps it's time to regulate the First Amendment just like we do the Second Amendment. All these protesters out there should be forced. If, if you're going, if you're going to be, if you're over four, if you're under 40, and you're going to be protesting more than two days, because most normal protests, people go out and they protest for a day or two and they make their point and then they go home. That, that's how the right wing does it. <clears throat> and. So these, these protesters, they're, they're going out 60, day, 60 plus days now in Portland, and they're rioting. Obviously, they don't know that they should not be stopping people in traffic. They should not be assaulting cars. They should not be assaulting drivers. Obviously, they don't understand their first minimum rights. Perhaps they need to be hauled into a class and, and taught. Taught what their rights are and what the rights of other people's are and what their responsibilities are. And then they would get a card. Just like uh, gun owners get a permit, and without that, if if a police officer asks them for their for their First Amendment permit and they don't have it, and they they've been out more than two days, they should get arrested and fa uh, fined for that. And, and I don't know how serious the charge should be. Maybe a felony because that's what they do to us with with the guns. <clears throat> so call your representatives and and tell them start regulating the First Amendment like we do the Second Amendment, and and bring up some ideas like like I said. They have to take a class. No right to protest until they take class. If they're over 40, hey, you know what? They're not young kids. They probably don't need it. Uh, the, the, the libtards, they like to they like to have arbitrary limits and, and number cutoffs. So 
40 sounds good to me. So there, there's my idea and spread this video far and wide.